Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. Out with the old and in with the new. Big box retailers are closing up, but who's moving in? Soon, there's only going to be one Kmart store on Oahu. And last summer, Sports Authority closed all of its stores here in Hawaii. And as a result, there are huge spaces that have been left vacant. So does this mean that other big box stores might be coming or not to fill the voids? Alex Serbal goes beyond the headlines tonight and gets some answers. Alex? Aloha, Howard and Marissa. I reached out to real estate analysts and learned landlords benefit more from breaking up big spaces into smaller lots. I also asked if that means new big box retailers won't be turning to Hawaii to open their doors. For retailers and developers, space in Hawaii is key. The biggest problem with retailers has been space. Real estate analyst Stephanie Sofo says where to find it, what's the right location, and how does it factor with the demographics are important elements. We're noticing that a lot of businesses are closing. Does that give us an indication that some of the other stores, like, for example, IKEA, REI, Trader Joe's, those other stores, won't come here because other stores are closing? No, not at all. It gives us more of an opportunity to have them here. We check with Howard Hughes to find out what will happen with the former Sports Authority space on Ward. I'm told an art festival takes place there March through May. After that, likely a short-term tenant, and then complete redevelopment of the area. That whole space there uh, under our master plan will be additional residential, mixed-use, retail, probably bring in some new dining. Obviously, it's a lo great location. Besides housing, Todd Apo says that bottom space could be divided into smaller lots, like what is happening at the former Kmart location in Ivole. From a landlord perspective, if you can break it into smaller spaces, mm -hmm. you can oftentimes lease it at rents a little bit higher off, significantly higher than what an anchor tenant might pay. So it's, it's a financial drive. We check with Mike Hamasu, who analyzes market conditions for commercial real estate to ask about the trends in Hawaii. We don't have a lot of retail competition that, that occurs here. I mean, if you look on the mainland, there's maybe five or six sporting goods yeah. stores. There's, mm -hmm. you know, 10 or a dozen different types of grocery stores. Mm -hmm. Well, here we were very limited. So that impact of increased national competition here well, should drive continued increased sales. And just because the space is closing doesn't mean other retailers won't want to step in and take over. Who's going to win here ultimately? Restauranters and retailers, they have to reinvent themselves every seven to nine years. And if you have a good concept, if you have a good price point, the world is your oyster. We also checked to see what will happen with the former sports authority in Waikela and the Kmart in Halava once that one closes. We'll let you know when we hear back. Alex Serval, KHON2 News.